Meme review. That felt weirdly familiar. What's going on, smart people? Today we're doing something a bit different, trying something new. Gonna look at some physics memes on the physics meme subreddit. I will leave a link in the description so that you can check them out for yourself. Assuming this goes well, this little pilot episode, maybe there will be a future one and you can make a meme that is in the next physics meme review. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I have it sorted from the top of the past month, so only the best of the sine theta equal theta memes today, hopefully. But I guess we'll find out. 3,500 upvotes, pi equal, of course it's a pi meme. Yeah, what else would it be, right? The volume of a cylinder is found using the formula V equals pi R squared H. Using pi equals five, R equals 10, and H equals 10, find the volume V. Now I know what people are like. Uh, pi equals five. Normally they approximate pi equals three. I get it, that's very funny. At, at the end of the day, no matter what you use for pi, you're approximating it. You could say pi equals three, you could say pi equals 3.14159. You're still approximating it. I don't get the joke anymore. What's, <laughs> what's bothering me more is that R and H here are dimensionless. That's, that should be what bothers you. You can choose whatever units you like. You can have units such that distance has units of inverse energy. In fact, I encourage that. But to make it, dim what does a volume element even mean? in that system of units. Maybe they just know something I don't. I wouldn't rule that out. If Queen Elizabeth accidentally farts during dinner, the other guests are supposed to pretend like nothing happened because noble gases should have no reaction. Hey, hey, okay. It was funny, but that's a chemistry meme. F in the chat, boys, Newton dies. Everybody, oh, so that just kind of spoiled the punchline. I remember one, I had a dream that I did a physics meme review once and I didn't get the F in the chat MA joke and I got roasted in the comments and then I woke up, but physics one played F equals MA, F equals the time derivative of momentum. That's what I like to see. And I like that they didn't pull out the mass, right? Because rockets exist. The, the rocket, rocket equation. equation. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. thing. Nuclear physics teacher, 10 year old me, math with weird letters. <sighs> Looking at my whiteboard right now, I can vouch for that. <laughs> Mostly gammas. And, and size, however the hell you pronounce it. I was so confident in how I said psi until like last semester that I hear people doing the uh, uh, psi. Oops, it's like you sound like an oop idiot. Friction was discovered in 1943, moving objects before 19, 1943. 1493, I maintained speed. Uh, what's this one? I love physics, I'm just not very good at math. The ogre has fallen in love with the princess. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's funny. What was that comment? Yeah, man, I have this crazy idea for a theory. You should see the inbox for my emails. Uh, it's a lot. Of, I have just proved. I just disproven relativity and quantum mechanics. I just wanted to run it past you. I haven't taken a physics class yet, but I just wanted to see if it like made sense. It's like, okay. If I sound sick, it's just because I'm a little sick. Archimedes spending a lot of time trying to calculate the exact value of pi. Engineers, I'm about to end this whole man's, I just butchered this meme. God, that's why Shankar is useless. Am I right? You can't even stand up for yourself. Uh, direct, direct experimental evidence for string theory? There is no direct evidence for, okay. <laughs> SI problems. Uh, me explaining how vectors work. Vectors, my student. <laughs> oh my god, I remembered this one. Okay, this is actually my buddy. We we, we go to school together. <laughs> the subreddit when someone makes a joke about engineering, engineers making approximations, we have achieved comedy, my friends. We have done it. Uh, when you're a physicist but you approximate sine of x equal x, maybe I'm an engineer. Thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. Boltzmann, who spent much of his life studying stat mech, died in 1906 by his own hand. Paul Ehrenfest, uh, carrying on the work, died similarly in 1933. Now it is our turn to study statistical mechanics. I guess that answers the if your friends jumped off of a bridge question, doesn't it? Uh, physicist, or sorry, what? hey, what's a tensor? Physicist, a tensor is something that transforms like a tensor. Well, I don't see the problem there. That whole thing has always made much more sense if you start off, I think, 
by showing that you can define vectors the same way. Instead of saying a vector is something with a magnitude and direction, because this isn't just despicable me, and you say, oh, let's, let's rotate our coordinate system. How do the components change? Hey, we can define our quantity by how these components change, and then it becomes more familiar when you go to tensors. My physics teacher has a great sense of humor. Is that a tensor product? Oh, no, they're doing... They're doing circuits. I saw what I wanted to see. Uh, ohm and a, a cool ohm. <laughs> is, that, is that a pointing vector? <laughs> Only physics boys understand. Physics boys and grills. If you're a grill, you can be the boys too, obviously. Okay, moving on. Leibniz integral notation. The inverse derivative of that thing. That would piss me off. Sine inverse gets me enough. Uh, come on, just let me create one thing. Oh, for Pete's sake, fine. Jackpot. I recognize the color. Is it Jackson? It's Jackson. Honestly, I'm taking Jackson E&M right now. It's just the first semester. I have the second semester next semester. Go figure. Uh, but that's my easier, easiest, I guess it's all relative, course this semester for sure. It's not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as people made it sound. If this is right, it is. I want, I've want. i never wanted to use something in a paper as much as this. This is incredible. <laughs> Your own footnote just saying, yeah, by the way, I'm not gonna make a mistake. He is even worth, okay, moving on. Uranium-235, 703.8 million years. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh, I hate that I didn't see that one coming. Me every night, studying physics isn't stressful or difficult, really. Jim. 19 years old, yeah. Shut up, Keys. Spotted a weird-ass matrix in the chemistry lab. <laughs> and you're taking the transpose of it somehow. Uh, physics memes makes fun of engineers for approximating pi. Astronomers... What do astronomers get? Kelly's got some explaining to do. Someone approximating in my house? Just kidding. In every calculation I've done... If, if I'm working with like a theoretical beam energy north of a GeV, the mass of the electron is zero. The mass of the neutrino is zero. I'll, I'll set the mass of the proton equal to zero if you test me. Starting Lagrangian mechanics, me using Euler Lagrange equations to solve projectile motion problems. Yeah, it's like hitting an egg with a sledgehammer. I feel like I've done this though. Didn't I make a video on this? This exact thing? Hold on. Just to feed into my narcissism. About six weeks. All hail meme lord Andrew Dodson. Yeah, apparently I guess I did. Go through, electron goes through both slits. Physicist places a detector. Electron, well <laughs> Well now I'm not doing it. God damn it. How much horsepower does a horse have? 14.9 horsepower. These are confusing times. Uh oh. A tensor is something that transforms as a tensor. A tensor is a multilinear map at every point. That's something that everyone can agree on. You can talk to, for some reason, I, I suppose if you talk to mathematicians, they don't use the terminology tensor very much, or at least when I've brought it up, like, how are you defining that? A multilinear map, oh, okay, cool, I know what you're talking about then. Or if you go through like the Nakahara book, I think that that's how they define it. A tensor is a C infinite I don't know how to read that. Multilinear map on a vector and covector fields. A tensor is something that transforms as a tensor. When you finally get a job without being asked this, it's not a question, that's just the definition of the wave function in terms of the radial part and the spherical harmonics. Years of academy training wasted. Actually, we just learned about uh, like the vector spherical harmonics, like roughly like the chapter nine section of Jackson. It's kind of terrifying. Uh, thanks, Google, very cool. Privacy remind, oh, luminosity of the sun, one solar luminosity. <laughs> I thought that stuff doesn't happen in particle physics. That would frustrate me if it was like, what's the mass of the proton again? Oh, one proton mass. Then again, who can't remember 938 MeV? Uh, at parties, it do be like that. I wish I was at home reading research papers. The music's not Feynman bongo music. Nobody wants to talk about quantum field theory. I need to check if my PI emailed me, my feet hurt, I'm hungry. Well, the parties we go to are all other grad students for either physics or astronomy, so these kind of are the conversations. Uh, made with a superior unit of temperature. Professor named Boomer, that white on white is a great choice. What's the value of absolute v zero? 
okay boomer. I love the, I, I do really like the okay boomer memes for some reason. I'm only gonna do a couple more though. Uh, me ignoring experimental data that doesn't fit with my hypothesis, reality can be whatever I want. We've been doing this nuclear physics lab the entire semester. Well, we've been do doing different experiments, but that's always like weirdly tempting. When you know something is noise or like you bump the cable and you just, you gotta keep it. I mean, I'm sure if it was an actual experiment, you could reason to be like, but come on, let's not have this skew the fit because this is, I, I flick the cable, that's not the real data. But at least for this, we're not throwing out any data. Me flipping through my physics textbook when we finally get to start on quantum mechanics. <laughs> on that note, I am going to call the video here. This was fun, I, I missed doing these little physics meme reviews even though I've never done one before. This is the first episode. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed the video, if you want me to keep making more, and I will see you guys there.